What's up guys, it's Sava from SOS Kitchen and today we're making potato pancakes. This recipe, while not exactly healthy, is so delicious. This is the perfect recipe for leftover mashed potatoes, think Thanksgiving leftovers. And while it may seem weird that this is a sweet recipe, any true potato connoisseur has to try it. This recipe could also be easily adapted into a savory recipe, but honestly, I think it's perfect as it is and you should just try it that way and then, you know, do what you want after that. As always, the recipe and ingredients will be in the description box below, but let's get started. The first thing you'll need are some leftover mashed potatoes, the really, really plain kind. I made these yesterday and just added cream, butter, milk, and salt. You don't want any garlic, cheese, chives, any sort of savory ingredient in there that would be weird with jam. If you do have that in your mashed potatoes, then make the savory kind. To the potatoes, add an egg and mix it to combine. The egg helps to hold everything together and creates a really nice texture to the batter. Add in some flour and then just stir it in until you can't see any dry spots. In a pan over medium-high heat, Heat about half an inch of oil. This batter should make about four pancakes, so drop in some of the potato mixture in heap spoonfuls and then flatten it out just a little bit with your fingers or a spoon. These should probably be about three quarters to an inch thick. Let them fry until beautifully golden brown and then flip them over. I find it easiest to use a spatula and a spoon or a fork so you don't get splashed or break your pancakes. Cook them on the second side for a few more minutes and then remove them to a paper towel lined plate to drain. To eat, you have to lather on just like a ton of jelly. I love apricot, but as a kid, raspberry was my jam. These potato pancakes are so good. They're like extra, extra crispy on the outside. They're really soft and creamy on the inside. They're just like one of my favorite breakfast foods that I almost never let myself have. <laughs> I know it sounds weird to have mashed potatoes with jam, but just trust me on this one. Try it out and let me know what you think and leave a message in the comments below. Thanks for cooking with me again. Bye.